Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are December 1st and the end of the year. And guess what? We've got only 30 days to go to say good riddance to 2020. Well, I can't say good riddance. You know why? Because... There's been so much good that has come out of this year. For so many, it's been quite difficult. And for many others, it's been great. It all comes down to how we look at certain things, right? So if you were here, by all means, please uh, uh, let me know. Uh, drop a comment and if you are watching this segment hi Seda John if you are watching this segment on a replay please hashtag a replay for those of you who do not know me I am Lisa Bubari your expert hypnotherapist speaker author stress management consultant and the person who takes you from pain to gain in less than nine weeks right <laughs> So, hi, Elvira John. How are you? It's been great chatting with you. Um, yes, so today is December 1st, but you know what, other, what else it is? It is Giving Tuesday. So, what is Giving Tuesday? Find a nonprofit organization that speaks to your heart. And even if you want to donate $5, um, even a one dollar, you know, every single dollar helps and give to that organization. And it can be from Children's Hospital to any nonprofit organization that speaks to your heart or even Amazon Smile. You can go there and find the, the nonprofit that you want to donate, even if it is to a, a dog shelter, the animal shelter within your community. But I also have to say, I would love if you open your heart and give to my nonprofit organization. Yes, I have to talk about that, which is um, Heal Within International, better known as Heal Within Kids. It's healwithinkids.org. And we are a nonprofit organization helping motherless children. And through alternative healing, sound modalities, creative writing, art therapy, self-image, helping them thrive in life, even when mom is not there in their life. As a matter of fact, one of the things we started doing, our board, uh, my uh, board of directors, and we decided to give packages like this, which we call it care packages. And there are so many little goodies inside to not only motherless children, but any children within our community uh, that it's driving distance because we're not shipping them out. Uh, this package is to any child with a single parent. So if you are anywhere in the LA uh, County, by all means, please let me know. You can text, you can uh, share right here and let me know and we'll send it to you. Or you can drive by and pick it up either today or Thursday and even Tuesday and Thursday next week, a care package for those children. And if you find it in your heart, by all means, please, I have a GoFundMe uh, on my page, Giving Tuesday donation on my page. Please help us because it is for children who mom is not in their life and it can be either mom is incarcerated, institutionalized, or lost, cust lost custody in through divorce, or mom is no longer on Mother Earth. So for those children, we help them thrive and overcome shame, blame, grief, guilt, whatever it is. So, hello, Joshua. Mm, long time no see. I know from one platform to another, I was just with so many of you on another platform, which is the Network of Influence 
I'm going to be speaking tomorrow. I'm going to be giving away a lot of gifts and value. As a matter of fact, today is a Giving Tuesday. So I would like to give all of you who are here present a gift. If you text 818-221-2797, the word relax. Yes. The word, just text RELAX to 818-221-2797 and you will receive a gift from me to you. And it is an audio recording of my guided visualization hypnosis for you to relax for 30 minutes and drift into a deep and profound state of relaxation. You know, nowadays, with everything that is going on in life, from the war in Armenia, from the turbulence with our uh, communities, uh, with COVID happening, another lockdown, shutdown. It's affecting everyone. It's affecting us emotionally, physically, mentally. Uh, just yesterday, I was talking to a client of mine uh, and she's having a lot of problems. And one of the things we were discussing is how she is learning how to do self-care and heal, heal within, right? But one of the things she didn't realize, and we've been working through this, is that every time she thought she's doing a self-care, she used to have a me time and have a drink, or two, or three to shut down, to numb herself. And Dean realized at the end of the day, she probably had four or five glasses of wine. Yes, it numbs it, it temporarily shuts our emotions. But what we don't realize is that there are things that, although it numbs you, it helps you shut down, that's not self-care. That's putting another mask, putting another um, layer of uh, tape, a scotch tape or a band-aid on the wound. So what I do, I help you go from that pain and understand that what is pain? Sometimes we feel powerless. And sometimes we feel anxious going through that. And what is I stand for? Insecure. There is sometimes we feel that insecurity without expressing it, without talking about it, right? And the negativities that we surround ourselves or it is around us and we want to numb it. So by doing that, we don't really recognize it until someone is there to help you shed a light, put a light on it, so you get to do the work and say, aha, I didn't know I am just putting a Band-Aid on that pain. So I help you go from that pain to gain. And what is gain? Is growth is gaining and acknowledging to come to independently stand on your own two feet and gain a self-confidence within yourself in order for you to nourish and nurture yourself. That's the gain part. And what you gain most importantly is self-worth, self-appreciation, self-acceptance, and above all, self-pride. Because no one on this earth can do it for you. Even I or any therapist, any coach, anyone that you go to for them to help you, no one is doing the work for you. You know that. We can only be a platform. We can only hold space for you. We can guide you. I can hypnotize you and dra uh, drop you into that state so that you can have your aha moments. 
There is no way I can go into your mind. There is no way I can get into your body to help you overcome that pain. But through hypnosis, I help you tap within yourself and give you the tools and techniques to know what that pain is. The pain that you have been shutting down and shut it, shoving it down only to acknowledge it so that you can begin to heal it. And healing is the most profound thing that you can do for you. That's how I came to be where I am. I healed within. Because over 20 years ago, I went through my own transformation. And coming through pain, coming through abuse, coming through overcoming, not only smoking a pack a day, but also a, a nearly death experience. Actually, I have been in three major car accidents. Did you know that? No, you didn't. Three major car accidents. And one of them, um, they were surprised I even walked out of it. I remember being 11 years old and I was sitting in a car in back in Iran. We were, it was, we were going uh, to our summer house and I was with a very good friend of mine and he was driving and believe it or not, we, uh, we get into the car because it was so hot. We had to go and get ice and I'm probably 12 years old. I know 12 years old and I'll say, I'll say why, because I had a cigarette and I lit the cigarette and it was just the two of us. He was driving and he was also a smoker. He was older, probably 17, and he was driving his dad's car, and it was like two blocks away, just two blocks away. And I turn, and he turns around to take a puff out of the cigarette. And this car, his father had made, like custom made it. It was like a DeLorean. If you know what a DeLorean car is, very low, it hardly flips over or anything, and my God, 40 years ago, that was like a, the in car. And as he tilts his head to get a puff, there was a dirt on the side of the road. This car goes and flips on this dirt and the car went upside down. The car flipped three times. And at that very moment, we didn't know anything, right? This is what accidents happen. Accidents happen in a split of a second, right? So the car turns and turns and turns, and then it comes to a halt and we're upside down. I remember looking up and my feet were up and I just wanted to turn, but I was stuck. And all I heard is him saying, are you okay? Are you okay? And I just said, I'm good. And the next thing I know, he's kicking the door of the car. And someone else had opened the door, and it's a two-seater door. Someone else is pulling me out. So I am being pulled out from this side, and he is out from the other side. And I just sat on the curb. I'm very animated, aren't I? And he comes to me and says, are you okay? He's scared and he's screaming. And I'm like in, in a dumbfounded, what happened? There's few people around us. And this is like at a summer's house, not many people around. And the next thing I know is that cigarette was right there. And someone is putting, just stomping on that cigarette because the buck of the car where the gas tank was, it had opened. The gas was leaking and the cigarette was like this, this far away from it. That thing could have gone into flames. The car could have gone into flames and we could have burned with it. That's what I call God is looking over us. And they pulled us 
and I remember there was this person, uh, he could not speak, and he, he just by signs and everything, he's like screaming, but nothing is coming out. And and he gets on his bike and starts biking away, and other people are just like, are you okay? Nothing happened to my friend. Nothing happened to me, except we were just banged up. The face of his glass of his watch was shattered into pieces. And you see, being a driver, he had shifted to my side and the wheel of the car had come out. And if he had stayed there, if there was seatbelt then, which we didn't I don't think we had seat belts then, or maybe there was, he just didn't put it on. If he had been there, that wheel would have just punctured him and just damaged him. So for the grace of God, we were fine. And by the time they went and notified the family and took us in the car and took us back to the summer house, and at that time, everyone was in tears and screaming. Our parents didn't know what happened. I remember one thing, he was scared that his father was going to punish him for ruining the car. And I was scared because we didn't want anyone to find out we were having a secret. The mentality of a child, it was not about, oh my God, we are hurt, but it was the guilt the anxiety. So I want to, I share that is because when something like that impacts you, and I don't want to say you see death in a split of a second, because at that second, you don't hear it, you don't see it, you don't know it. But trauma stays in muscles, and muscle has memory. And that was my first auto accident. And throughout the years, I've had two more close to being gone. So yes, three is a charm. The last one was another devastating where I punctured my rib cage and sternum. And I've had more damages in my body from a broken leg and everything from auto accidents. But this body has a memory. The psyche has memory. And when we do a muscle testing and everything, that trauma, and it can be from either an auto accident, from the impact, or the fears, or the guilt, and those are all energetic things that stay in the body. And years ago, for 14 years, I used to do massage therapy, and I'm calling it therapy because it was not just the massage that I was doing, I was doing hypno-massage, that when my clients were on the massage table and I was doing deep tissue work and deep work with them, I used to take them into that state of hypnosis and do hypno-massage while I'm doing massage to release pain, trauma, and all that energetically any pain emotional physical or mental that was blocked store frozen in the muscle you know frozen muscle frozen elbow frozen shoulder those are things that sometimes it's an energetic emotional um, pain or shock that is blocked in there and we need to release it so because I'm not doing massage therapy, yeah, hurts, um, now I help release pain through hypnosis. It can be profound, it can be deep work, but you know, it is the most amazing thing to recognize that you have the power within you to tap within your subconscious mind, where all the input information, the blueprint is right there and begin the healing process. Peel away all that anxiety, trauma, pain, shock, 
any auto accident, I work with attorneys and they send clients to me that have been in auto accidents and we help them overcome uh, panic, anxiety, shock, trauma. So those are the work that I do. As a matter of fact, Heal Thy Mind Body, one of my books I have. And this is not necessarily about promoting. As a matter of fact, if you text 818-221-2797 and you're texting relax, I will draw one person and I will also gift you this ebook of Heal Thy Mind Body because there are so many tools and techniques in this book that you can do your own self-hypnosis and utilize some of those techniques and be it the shower technique, be it the guided visualization, the elevator, the cloud. I have so many techniques in this book. It's a plethora of techniques and gifts that you can use it or you know what? It's Giving Tuesday. Gift someone else this book. You can go to my website. And if you are so inclined to gift it, go to my healwithin.com shop. And there are so many other things. Even this bracelet that says, I evoke, embrace, evolve. Because I matter. Gift this to someone else. The holidays are coming. It's the perfect gift for a stuffing. And you can stuff it in the in, in, in with another gift and give it to someone. Let them know that every time they put this on their wrist, it says, I matter. It's just a reminder. So for today, let us close our hearts eyes for just a moment. Take a nice deep breath. And be silent for one moment. Mm. That's right. One of the best ways for you to release tension is to sigh. <sighs> and drop your shoulders. And let go. Let go of all expectations. Let go of all tension. Just for a moment. Let go of all the he said and she says. Let go of all worry and expectations. judgment. Just let it go for just a moment. As a matter of fact, drop your weight onto the chair that you were sitting on. And just let it go from the top of your head to your shoulders, from your shoulders, down to your arms, from your arms, all the way to the tip of each and every one of your fingers. And out. You can even move your fingers. And release it. Just release the tension. That's it. Just release and let go. And recognize at this very moment, you are only and the only person who can let go.
of all judgment, guilt, shame, even all the labels that you placed upon yourself or the ones that you took it upon yourself because someone said it. Peel that away. Just drop it onto this chair and recognize the gift that you are because you are a child of God. You are. You are a part of this universe. And you are worthy and deserving of so much more. Because there is a beautiful light within you. And all you have to do is just tap and acknowledge who you are. And it doesn't matter all the bad things you have done, the negative ones, that someone has called you undeserving, unworthy, that is their perception. This very moment, you can choose to make that change within you. This moment right here, right now, is the moment that you can say, I choose. I matter. I am, which is the most powerful word, acknowledging yourself, which is that little child within you that probably you have not said hello to in a while. If you can take this very moment and remember yourself as a little girl or little boy. Just remember yourself. Maybe in kindergarten or first grade. Maybe somewhere, somehow you were not seen, you were not heard. You felt invisible. This very moment. Just acknowledge yourself, that spirit of you. Be the best version of a parent to acknowledge that little younger version of you. And let that little one know that you see, you see, you hear. You acknowledge and let go of all the labels that has been placed upon you or you took it upon yourself, either then or now. And for a sliver of a moment, remember that you matter. That today is the day you are ready to heal within and stand up for who you are. And as you breathe in and out, if you happen to shed a light or a tear comes down, flowing from your cheekbones. Smile and remember, this is the moment you just acknowledged yourself because tears are tears of cleansing, clearing, and loving. So I thank you for doing this exercise with me and seeing you, hearing you, 
and appreciating you. Thank you for being here and present. And on this Giving Tuesday, I gift you love and guidance to heal within. And remember, you can always call upon me because I am here for you. And you can reach out and text RELAX 818-221-2797. And if you would like to open your heart, expand your mind, and help a child's life transform, by all means, help us on our GoFundMe or Giving Tuesday on my feed and help one of our motherless children to support our programs so we can help them. Thank you for being here. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. This is Lisa. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.